Hello YouTube, this is our tutorials and in this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to create a worn out uh, paint, painted uh, metal text, it's actually a long title but um, that's what it is, it's a painted, basically it's like an effect of a painted text that is also metal text and it's also worn out, um, so yeah. So that's basically where that's what we're going to be creating. It might not look really good, but uh, you guys, I'm sure you guys can make it better by playing around with it. I'm just in a hurry right now. I got things to do, so I have to do it fast. So yeah, open up Photoshop. Yeah, but basically, you know, this I thought it was useful to do this tutorial. Um, just it's a useful uh, skill to know to do the, how to do this. So that's. Uh, yeah, with that we're gonna start it. So go to file new again, and um, it doesn't matter about the dimensions. I use width 1,800, height 1,000, uh, resolution 300, uh, color mode RGB color and background contents transparent, and click OK, and click on the text tool, and make sure you selected the uh, biggest one if you have a big file big uh, picture size or is it, um, or dimensions and type in whatever you like I'll just type in text okay and um, selecting the move tool at the top make sure you have show transform control selected and um, click on the corner and then click and drag and hold shift to hold shift and click and drag the corner to make it bigger and then put it in the center and hit enter that's rhymed and um, then go to the text layer and double click on it and uh, let's change the color so select color overlay then select it and change the color right here to white and opacity 100 and click OK alright so uh, now let's create a new layer no, actually first of all let's right click on the text layer and uh, click on convert to smart object and select a uh, eraser tool and then you should have this cursor you should change this circle black circle and that means you can't edit it or can't do do the action that you're trying to do so click on the text and this should pop up and then click OK and so now this text is just a regular regular layer and now let's create a new layer by clicking here on this little button and it will create a new layer and if you need to pause you can surely pause and uh, you know rewind to if you missed anything so now let's um, let's select the brush tool and I'd suggest you go to brush easy and download some cool brushes I'm not gonna do that now um, but I am gonna use some of the brushes that I already have here so uh, once you selected the brush that you would like to use, select the color. Um, and it's important that you in general select similar colors that I do so it uh, has the best effect. But first of all I'm going to select red and uh, before we start right click on the layer that you created which should be called layer 1. Right click on it and uh, click on create clipping mask and that's what that gonna do is it's gonna keep the uh, layer one or whatever you do with it is gonna keep it within the boundaries of the text but that's if you had if you had the text below the layer one and you clicked on uh, create clipping mask otherwise it will not work so that's what I forgot to mention first of all have the layer one above text one or text layer and yeah it should work so you should have this drop down uh, arrow right here on the layer one so now let's start painting uh, so, so yeah click in the corner right here then change the color the next color I used was purple you can use whatever color you want but keep in mind it will work the best with the colors that I use uh, and yeah just kinda color it over let's see what other colors I have so next I have uh, orange so yes yeah, select orange right here change the color uh, yeah there we go orange and yeah paint it over like that okay and 
let's go back. What else do we have? Uh, we also have like neon. Okay, so um, go ahead and change the color to neon. Neon blue. Uh, like that. And what else? Green. We have some green here too. And yeah, change the color to green also. Okay. All right. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um, it doesn't look good now because it looks kind of cartoony. Uh, but that's gonna change. Uh, so next we want to um, create a new layer. Actually, no, no. Delete that layer. Uh, next we want to import the texture so here we have this metal texture and I'll try to put the link in the description to download this texture if I don't put the link in the description please remind me to do so so drag in this texture into our project file and let's change the size of it so it fits the size of the text like so hit enter then right click and click on create clipping mask Okay, so now you have this uh, basically metal text and it doesn't have the colors anymore. But if we go, if we select the metal texture uh, layer and go to uh, blending options right here, we can change it and let's change it to, let's see, um, right here, what do I have? I have hard light. Okay, so change it to hard light, light. But wait, I'm gonna check the color one to, oh, what was that? Uh, sorry um, let's change the color ones blending mode like the colors that we painted blending modes to and I'm just checking what I put it to so the first one was vivid light so if we go back here to the project and um, on the color selecting the color layer with all the colors and go into blending mode and change it to uh, overlay I think no, I have to check again sorry Vivid light, vivid light, that's what I had. Okay, vivid light. And if we uh, duplicate this color layer by dragging it down into the create new layer button, it will duplicate it. Or right clicking and duplicating, which either, which either way you like. Uh, but now let's change the second one that we duplicated to hue. Uh, let's see, where's hue, 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 there we go, hue. So now that we duplicated the layer, we have this, uh, te we have this uh, texture, the metal texture, it's kind of out of boundaries now, out of boundaries of the text, but that's because the clipping mask ha canceled, so we have to make it again, so right click on the metal texture layer and click on create clipping mask. Alright, uh, so next, what did it? do next to change it. Um, I think I changed the uh, like the brightness of the metal texture. So if we select the metal texture uh, layer and go to um, image adjustments or actually first of all we have to uh, change the metal texture layer into a normal layer by going to by selecting it first and going to um, the eraser tool and clicking on it and again it turns it to a normal layer and then we can go to image adjustments and brightness and contrast um, and decrease the brightness to minus uh, 30 around minus 30 and just increase the contrast slightly so now you see the difference it was very bright now it's not as bright anymore Okay, so uh, now go back to the text uh, layer, double click on it, and click on drop shadow. Uh, increase the size and increase the opacity so you can see it better. Okay, so now we have more like a, I don't know, volume to this. So it looks more like an object now because it has a shadow. Okay, and let's go to bevel and emboss and click on it, select it and let's see size let's put the size to 3, soften to 0, depth to uh, 439 
and um, angle to 120 by 30 and in drop shadow I didn't go over I don't think I went over the settings either so in drop shadow distance 0 spread 20 size 24 and angle 120 and opacity 100 so if you miss anything you can rewind and uh, you know watch it again so now we have we are basically done um, that's the only thing I need is to show you guys how to create the background so uh, if you create a new layer and drag this layer below the every other layer and go to the uh, what is it called paint bucket tool and change the color to I don't know like grayish kind of and click on the screen and um, now let's duplicate this metal texture layer so drag it down to create a new layer button and it duplicates and then drag it below all the other layers except for the uh, for the gray layer and uh, let's increase the size of it the size of this texture to fit the screen hit enter and change the um, blending mode let's see which one is the best actually I'm gonna go back and see which one I'm actually using here screen so I'm using screen uh, so go to blending mode right here and hit screen so yeah now we have kind of a light um, metal texture in the background and a uh, metal texture metal text um, in the foreground so that's pretty much it guys um, it, I think it's a pretty useful skill to know and it's a pretty cool effect too and it actually looks better than the one that I did before so I'm pretty ex pretty happy about the result that we got so yeah thank you guys for watching although I went really f went over everything really fast it still took uh, 13 minutes so yeah imagine how much it would take if I if I was going slow but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope this wasn't too fast for you guys and yeah I see you guys next time